फाइव स्नीकर्स दैट आई रिग्रेट बाइंग येस आई एम यू टॉक अबाउट माई रिग्रेट्स एंड इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू टॉक अबाउट द रिग्रेट्स बिकॉज येस एवरी वन डज मिस्टेक्स एंड टूडे आई एम यू टॉक अबाउट सम ऑफ माई मिस्टेक्स इन माई स्नीकर जर्नी सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी ऑफ द टाइम द स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो वॉट इज अ पीपल दस वन कैम लिया योर स्नीकर गए एंड गई येस Today's first sneaker on this list is going to be New Balance 5740 Grade A. Okay, so I have to clarify this. This is one of my favorite sneaker in my list. And you guys must be thinking why I have put this sneaker on the regret list. So I have a reason for that. So yes, I do not hate this sneaker. Yes, I am in love with this pair. This is one of my best sneaker I have. But the sizing on this pair. is 7.5 uk 7.5 i am a uk 8 guy and in new balance i always tell you guys that go half a size up or a full size up and i have gone half size down in this pair and that is what my regret is because this is one of my favorite pair i really love wearing this pair it is one of the craziest pair i have and when i wear this sneaker i can go through two or Three hours max, and after that, my feet starts hurting really bad. And yes, there was a reason behind it because this was the only size available on Ajio that is seven point five. And that time, I did not know that you should go half size up or full size up in your balance. I thought I am a UK eight guy. I can manage UK seven point five, and that is the reason I got this sneaker. But after wearing it for a while, I got to know that this hurts. This really hurts, and. Yes this is one of my favorite sneaker in my list and there is a reason behind that because I just, I just want to show you guys that because this sneaker is very different just look at the toe box this part here has very normal suede and here you get a hairy suede like that you get normal suede here and you get a very hairy suede here you get a suede tongue here you get a leather tongue on this pair this is a very wild pair like this is one of my favorite pair and yes i am not going to sell this or something like that but still i it is hurtful man to get something like this It's beautiful and every time i wear it i regret it so yeah now coming to the second sneaker on this list and that is puma emojis and that was a crazy pair it was a very beautiful pair it was puma rs x fast emojis that was a very beautiful pair first of all second thing the sizing was right everything was right the comfort level on that pair was very good the only matter was with that pair is that colorway on that pair was very difficult to match with any of my outfit i had i don't know how to explain that this is a yellow t-shirt even that pair was yellow in color like it has a hint of yellow but that yellow was volt yellow or something like that fluorescent yellow I don't know how to explain that but that yellow was not a normal yellow like it was really hard to pair with any of the outfit and that was the reason I had to sell that pair like I sold it for a good price I had received that pair for a very good price and yeah it was a good pair I I really loved the detail on that pair the emoji signs the box was pretty good at the end the colorway on that pair was not something I could have rocked for a longer time. It was a very beautiful pair, and eventually I had to sell it. So yes, before you buy any of the pair, think about how you can wear that pair, and then buy it because it was an impulsive buy for me because I really liked that sneaker in first glance, and then I just bought it. But after getting it in hand and after realizing that I can't wear this with multiple different outfits, it was a regret. So yes, please do not do this mistakes. I have done it. I have bought multiple pairs like multiple pairs in past I have done a lot of things with sneakers so yes I know what it feels like so I just want you guys to not repeat this kind of mistakes so there are five sneakers on this list and you should not do this five mistakes at least so first one was the wrong sizing this one was the wrong colorway and let's talk about the third one So the third sneaker again I don't have that pair in hand and that is Adidas Easy 700 V3 Alvas. So again that is a mind blowing pair that is one of my favorite pairs I really had in past. The regret on that pair was the pricing. So when I got that pair that pair was going anywhere around 38 39000 rupees that was a hot selling item that time when it had launched. 
I had got that pair for 32 or 33,000 rupees. So yes, it was an expensive pair. I had got that pair from the intention of selling it eventually in future, like a reselling kind of a pair. But I had got it in my size and I thought I'll sell that pair eventually when it reaches 40, 45,000, something like that. So then Kanye did something very bad for me. Like he dropped another colorway in exact same color but only with small hint of brown on it same exact easy in the same exact colorway but the only difference was they had gray stripes on it and he changed that gray stripes to brown stripes and that's it the full sneaker was all black but the stripes changed it and that sneaker changed the market on that pair the pair dropped from 38 39000 rupees to 28 29000 rupees that was a drastic change and I was like, shit, this is really bad. I had got it for 33,000 rupees. Now it is selling for 29, 28,000 rupees. I am in 5,000 rupees loss. But after few months again, again Kanye dropped a similar colorway to that pair with a different glow on that pair. Exact same pair, all black Easy 700 V3 with a different kind of a glow. And that again dropped the market of Easy 700 V3s, Alvas. And then they came to 25, 26,000 rupees and I was like, shit, this is going bad. And then I was like, let's try this sneaker. Then I tried that sneaker and it was really tight. Then I was like, shit, I can't even wear this pair. So that UK 8.5 easy was tight to me. I was in loss for that sneaker. And eventually I sold that sneaker for a very good price. There was two heavy regrets on that pair. The sizing was wrong. The pricing went really bad. And eventually I sold that pair. I had a loss on that pair. If you don't want to get into that reselling game, like fully into that, please stay away from that because you can even lose money. Like people really think that nowadays, they think they can make money in that and it is very easy. You just buy it on retail, sell it on resale. But when that sneaker drops in price, you have to bear that loss as well. So yes, think about this before you buy anything. Now coming next on the list is again a New Balance pair and mind that I love New Balance. But unfortunately, there is a second pair on my regret list. I don't know why it is on this list, but I'll explain my thoughts and my view on this. So this is New Balance 327. Again in that OG grey color way and this is one of the cleanest sneaker I have. It has premium suede on it. The pair is very beautiful. I don't know what it is with me that I really can't wear this pair. So I have two grey New Balance sneakers and every time I think about wearing a grey sneaker, I go for this one. Even though this is tight to me, I go for this one because this looks very amazing on feet so that is the reason I like it but talking about this pair this is really beautiful this is really light this is really comfortable to me but still I couldn't wear this pair so yes that is again one of my regrets so yes please think before you buy any sneakers in your collection think about it before spending your hard earned money because money is the most important thing in life right now I don't want you guys to regret like me. Maybe in future I'll wear this pair. But for now, I don't know what to do about it. Now coming to the last regret on this list. So this is a different kind of a regret. This is not a regret I bought. This is a regret I sold. But yeah, I'm talking about the Adidas CL Response Bad Bunny collaboration. That was a mind blowing pair. And I had got that pair under retail. So that is a expensive pair. It was for 18,500 something like that. I had got that pair for 15,000 something like that. I don't remember 15,000, 16,000 something like that from Adidas website. And that time it was a huge amount for me. Even now 18,000 rupees is really big amount. And that time I was like, I don't know if I can keep that pair. I don't know if I can like manage that pair like that big expense I can handle it or not and trust me the premiumness of that pair was felt in hand and that was amazing pair but I returned that pair on Adidas website and I got my money back but till date I regret doing that I had to return that pair it was financial stuff I believe but now I regret that Maybe in any chance, like I had some chances to keep that pair, but I thought of returning it was a better option. 
because of the money aspect again but yes that was a beautiful pair and yes that was one of my regrets and think about this guys do not regret anything in life like it might be sneakers it might be some bad decisions you made it might be some losses you have done but do not regret that you should always think that what that loss has taught you what that uh, wrong decision has taught you in life and keep moving in life because that is the only way you will reach the top and you have to reach that top in life and one more thing as i told you guys new balance is one of my favorite brands so if you want to check some crazy new balance sneakers under 5000 rupees watch this video here and with that thank you so much guys for watching this video see you next time in the next video peace